All right, good morning. This is Senate Health and Welfare Committee meeting and it is May 13th, a little after nine in the morning. <clears throat> this morning, we are looking at H-171 as, it came, as coming back from the House. It's on the notice calendar uh, today and it's come back from the House with a further proposal of amendment. And uh, as we've been, as the bill's been looked at in both the House and the Senate, some federal guidelines have emerged that uh, suggest we need to have a further proposal of amendment to the further proposal of amendment. So Katie and Stephanie are here. And Stephanie, I know that you have conference committee <clears throat> duties. So I'm going to ask you to please go first. Um, okay. do, do we want to put that uh, proposal well, let's just have you go first and then okay. we can talk about so, what to so, look at. So um, yesterday we learned that guidance came out on the ARPA stabilization, child care stabilization grants that make it um, difficult. We had, when we passed the budget, we were funding the, the workforce pieces, the tuition and the loan repayment and the $100,000 for the pre-apprenticeship program out of those stabilization, ARPA stabilization grants. And the guidance that's come out, uh, while those grants are meant to, to support child care providers, the way the money has to flow, 90% of it through the centers, through the child care providers directly, makes it hard to do the, the workforce money out of that pot of money. And so what the amendment you're going to see from Katie does, um, in the budget, we're switching the $2.6 million over to the child care development block grant. We don't have ARPA guidance on that piece yet, but we know that the normal child, child care development block grant is something that can be used for the, for the workforce. And so um, the amendment to H-171 that Katie's going to walk through with you would make that switch over to the child care development block grant. And what that amendment speaks to is in case we get guidance that says we can't use the ARPA child care development block grant, then we'll use um, sort of the other child care in the normal child care development block grant or switch it out to general fund either what we're trying to do is make sure that the workforce pieces get covered no matter what <laughs> so that's the <laughs> that's the goal and so okay. and that, um and that's it, it's making clarity around that um with replacing one subsection of what's coming back to you and so right um, yes. it, it has so a it, counter it, amendment that's going to happen in the budget with the money switch good okay no. So it'll it will will be synchronous with whatever happens in the budget. So if anyone has any questions um, about that at the moment, or do you, I, I was going to just sort of step away and go back to committee conference because we're talking about that counterpart piece over there. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> any questions, clear of clarification? Good. Yeah. No, I think we'll be fine. And thank Great. you so much, sure. Stephanie, for okay. cluing us in and bringing your information to us. Great. All right, have fun. Thanks, bye-bye. <laughs> okay. All right, Katie, welcome, thank you. Uh, so I'm glad I got your message yesterday and we're able to move forward on this. But uh, I, you know, we have the whole proposal of amendment from the house that we looked at a little bit. Let's, Let's look at that first, and then we'll pull up the, the one section that Stephanie was talking about. Does that make sense? I think so. I was going to suggest the same thing so you can oh, good. see what we're switching out before we look at the actual language. Yeah, good. That's good. I, I'm glad we're on the same page with that. Oh, good. So Katie McGlynn, Office of Legislative Council, mm -hmm. let me share my screen. Okay, so I think you're seeing the House proposal to the Senate proposal of amendment. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so if you remember when we went through this, I can't even remember if it was this week or last or late last week at this point. I feel um, but, now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we had two instances of amendment. The first instance of amendment was um, striking out all of section 10 and putting a new section 10. Um, in the version that the Senate sent to the House, that language had to do with just the child care development block grant and asked for a report back as to how those monies were to be spent. 
or were spent. Um, what the House sent back to you is a new Section 10 that deals with both the block grant piece of ARPA and the stabilization grant piece of ARPA. And um, instead of having a work group as the House's original language, this just asks the department to work with stakeholders to come up with a plan for spending um, these two par pots of ARPA money. And then there's language acknowledging that some of the money um, is already allocated from the child care stabilization grants. Um, and then in coming up with this plan, there are specific um, considerations that have to be taken into account. And that's this list that we went through the last time you looked at this language. Um, and I don't know if you want me to go through the list again. This list was in part in the original house version and what's added here, the version that the Senate sent back had language about Head Start. So that's been added to this list. The piece we're looking at um, today is subsection B. So there are no currently no proposed changes to the subsection A up above, but subsection B was language that um, if ARPA funds are not available um, for the workforce programs in the bill, that the plan that DCF is to come up with is to include an offset of state funds to cover the child care workforce. So we'll come back to this because this is the section that's where we're having a proposed change. Um, and then the second instance of amendment that's coming back from the house is a change in the effective date section. Um, so we have a, a new title, a new heading for section 10. And so that is reflected here. And we've also removed reference to um, section 11 taking effect because it was deleted from the bill. So that is the change happening in the effective date section. That will be in the new proposed amendment or that will stay? This, as this will is. not change in the okay. new amendment that we're going to look at. Okay, just wanted to clarify that. Yep. All right. So we're only looking at section 10, subsection B in the new amendment. So All right. if it's okay, I'll switch documents. Committee okay? Speak up if you need to look at that. Okay. Okay. Let me pull up the next document. Okay. So here we have a proposal to concur with the House's <laughs> um, proposal to agree with further amendment. Um, with further amendment from the Senate. And the lead-in language is just, just that we're looking at section 10 and we're um, striking out subsection B in its entirety and putting in a new subsection B. And so there are really two parts, um, two changes here. So um, the previous language said if um, ARPA funds received by the state under the, um, sorry, if funds received um, by the state um, through ARPA. So it doesn't specify which fund. So it was thought that now that we know that the stabilization grants are not available to have more specificity that what we're really looking at is to use the block grant funds for this purpose. So if the block grant funds um, received through ARPA are not available to implement the workforce programs in the, in the act, then the plan that DCF is to come up with pursuant to subsection A that hasn't changed in this proposal is to include a proposal for consideration as part of the budget adjustment process uh, to utilize either state funds or alternative federal funds to cover the programs. Okay. So the changes that are kind of happening in the second half um, first, instead of just the plan coming up with an alternative um for for different funding in the in the instance that ARPA funds can't be used um it's saying that the plan is to conclude um, include a proposal for consideration during budget adjustment so that's different it's not proposing to make the change it's um kind of kicking it back to the general assembly and the budget adjustment process to determine if if that plan is appropriate 
And um, the previous language looked to only replacing um, potential ARPA funds with state funds, but this language um, also says that this could consider alternative federal funds to fund this program. So really three changes. First being specific, instead of just um, referring to ARPA funds in this lead-in language, referring to block grant funds, because we know stabilization um, funds are unlikely for this purpose at this point. And then um, having the plan include a budget adjustment recommendation, and that recommendation could utilize either state funds or alternative federal funds. Madam Chair. Go ahead. Um, so thank you, Katie. This, just wanna make sure I understand, this is specific to the training and scholarship funding that's in, in H-171? Yeah, so it refers specifically to, to 3VSA chapter 35, chapter five. So that's created in um, H-171. And that's the three programs, the perspective, um, scholarships, um, current uh, scholarships for current providers, and then the repayment program. So, if this, if this were to ha is to happen, and we're not allowed to use the ARPA block grant money, and we have to come back, and DCF has to come back with the during um, the budget adjustment, that would delay the the ability to do these programs, right? What, already, were, were they supposed to, when were they supposed to start? <laughs> I, I believe July 1, but you know, let me, I had to pull up the underlining bill to confirm that. I yeah. think it was. Yeah. I mean, I understand why we have to do this kind of like financial gymnastics in order to make sure we're using the funds appropriately and that takes time and everything. It's just unfortunate that we're not gonna be able to use the funds right away. Well, it kind of depends on when the block grant guidelines come out. I mean, if the block grant guidelines come out and they haven't changed, then this can go forward. So do we know, well, I should have asked Stephanie that question when, the, when those guidelines might be forthcoming. I, I don't think we know. I don't yeah. think we can predict exactly, but I, I do want to, I'm going to email Stephanie right now um, okay. your question about in the instance that the block grant funds are not available. Does that just mean that the program is on pause until we have a budget adjustment process? So let me email her while you are discussing. Because okay. that would be, I mean, by the time we get a budget adjustment passed, it's usually February. So that's a pretty significant chunk of time that to wait to figure this out. And like I said, I, I get it. We're in this weird, complicated money switching <laughs> world right now, but it also, you know. It's tough. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, a, it's, the, it's what has to happen to support childcare. You're right. Right, and I think, you know, there probably are providers who've already planned to do this, you know, to get extra education you know, over the summer or in the fall, and that sort of puts them in a lurch. That's going to make the loan repayment program a big... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Senator Hooker. I was just wondering what the alternative is. I mean, if we don't do this, then we don't have that fallback. Oh, um, yeah, we 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 need to do it. It's like step one: we can't use ARPA stabilization. Step two: let's go for block grant and hope that it doesn't change from its current mm -hmm. acceptable uses. And then step three, which is the least favored of budget adjustment. And then there's also the creativity of our pro appropriations committee, which would also be helpful. So the committee, I guess the question is, while Katie is reaching out to Stephanie uh, to answer that question, um, I, I don't think the answer to the question is going to change um, the fact that we need to move a further proposal of amendment. So any other questions about 
bless you. Any other questions about what's going on with this proposal? Go ahead. I guess, Madam Chair, I, I, the, our, our counterparts in the House, they know this is happening and I hope so. Concur because this is yeah, now well, gone back and forth a bunch of times, and we're I don't the think time. there's an alternative on this one. Um, and and appropriations, we work very hard to have the first proposal amendment um, work together with both House and Senate, and this one is really a a budgetary issue and with the guidelines coming out, I don't think there's any other alternative. Um, if they yeah. send anything else further, the bill will be in jeopardy. Yeah. Oh, I think we'll, I think when we, get it. when we do this on the floor, can we make sure we do a message it right away to the house so they get it? Yeah, I, that, that would be my intent and that would happen. Um, uh, I don't know if you were on, when we were talking about process, but it's on the calendar today for notice. So tomorrow we would, I will present the proposal of amendment, further proposal of amendment, and then we'll, we'll ask to have it messaged to the house forthwith um, as yeah. right after that proposal. So we can make it, make it happen. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Thanks. And if I don't do it, you remind me that I was going to I do will. it. I will. Yeah, okay. I will. I know okay. you will. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, let's do this. <laughs> we'll do it. Okay. Uh, Katie, anything there? No. I've, so, I've emailed and I haven't heard. I can um, oh, she's turn my video okay. off and try to give her a call. Well, I mean, oh. the answer to the question doesn't change the need for the proposal of amendment but it would be nice to have it before we finish our meeting today. Um, I would ask the committee if there are no further concerns or questions about the further proposal of amendment that we have a motion. I move that we further amend H-171, the house proposal of amendment as I, I don't, I'm confused as to how many amendments there are at this the, point. The House, the, the House has sent a further proposal amendment and we're sending a further proposal amendment to the House further proposal of amendment. Okay, that, that's what I was gonna say. I moved I that. Yeah, <laughs> I just like it. Okay, oh good, she's getting email. All right, uh, discussion committee. <sighs> yes, Katie. Uh, I don't want to interrupt anyone. No, um, so I, I did just get an email back from Stephanie, and I, I think she's meeting with another committee, so I didn't get an explanation. But I asked if um, by if we were not able to use the stabilization, um, not the stabilization, the block grant money, um, if that would mean that the, the program is tied up until after budget adjustment. And she just said a one word answer, no. And so I asked for more information, but I, I, I don't know that we're gonna get it if she's in a conference committee. Um, and then I asked her another question that I flagged as I was walking through and, and she confirmed that we will need a change. So I'm gonna pull up the document to show you where that is. Okay, so it's not what we're voting on right now needs to be changed before we finally yeah. vote. <laughs> Got no, it. We need an amendment to the further proposal amendment to the further proposal amendment. So Unfortunately. Let's just, yeah, and I'm no, glad let's we look at that before we decide we're going to vote. I'm glad we caught it though. Um, so this <laughs> this is the um, House. Oh gosh, this is the um, House proposal amendment to the Senate proposal amendment. So this is what the House sent over. Yeah. And I, when I just walked through it with you, I said subsection A is not changing. But as I walked through it with you, I noticed that we have this carve out language um, that says DCF is coming up with a plan for how to spend these two pots of money, except we've already um, allocated money from the stabilization grants for the workforce program. So that isn't gonna be part of the plan. But now the idea is that we can't use the stabilization money for the workforce um, um, programs 
So instead, we're hoping to use the child development block grant for this purpose. So this would just be a switch out um, that would, um, instead of using, referring to the child care stabilization grants, we would refer to the child care development block grant. Okay, so we would be modifying both A and B. We would, yes. But not C, okay. Yep. So the, the, what's changed is it would be allocated from the child development block grants in fiscal year 2022. So it's just the, the source of funding. Yeah, so let me, um, you want to I'll make that? that change in your amendment right now. Okay. All right, we'll wait. And so committee, just as a heads up, while Katie's doing that, we are planning on uh, trying to meet on Monday. So uh, we'll we'll try we'll have a process conversation about that, or we'll work with Nellie to find an appropriate time for all of us. and Senator Hooker and Terenzini. It was really delicious. Wait, what? What did I miss? Oh, uh, in education, I, I had time between the floor and education to make a rhubarb crisp. And we had that for dinner, period, with <laughs> vanilla yogurt on it. <laughs> what is this? My daughter made a My rhubarb. rhubarb the other day too and we first we had it for dessert with ice cream and then the next morning we had it for breakfast, breakfast. with yogurt <laughs> oh it's so good it's so good and that's the 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 early rhubarb is so perfect you know yeah. it holds its shape and form it doesn't just sort of disappear mm -hmm. it's great and now now i have to make rhubarb relish I don't know if any of you know what that is. Do you make rhubarb relish? Yeah. I make rhubarb chutney. Yeah. So. Probably the same kind of thing. Yeah. 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 We should post those recipes. <laughs> it, well, this is a recipe that one of my husband's patients gave him. And it's from, she gave him a whole booklet of rhubarb recipes from oh, cool. Vermont tradition, traditional rhubarb recipes. Oh. And they are, they're amazing. They really are. It says Katie says she's ready. Good thing. Thanks. All right, Katie. Okay, I'll pull it back up. Okay. So now this is the Senate um, concurrence with further amendment. And I've changed the lead in language. So now we're striking out section 10 um, in its entirety and inserting in lieu thereof a new section 10. So we're just cutting and pasting the section 10 that the house sent over with the change in um, subsection A being when we talk about um, money that's kind of been dedicated for this workforce programming, we're referring to the child care block grant versus the stabilization grants. And then we still have the same um, language in B that we looked at before that has not changed. Okay. All right. Who made that amendment? Senator Hardy, do you wish to change your amendment to um, uh, yes. correspond with draft 1.1? I absolutely do. Let's right. have the amendment to the amendment to the amendment to the amendment. I think that's the right number of amendments. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> I so move that. <laughs> okay, terrific. All right, discussion, any further discussion? All right, um, Senator Terenzini, go ahead. Why don't we take a vote on this one? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> so the House Proposal Amendment for H-171, uh, Terenzini, yes. 
Uh, Senator uh, Hardy? Yes. Senator Hooker? Yes. Senator Cummings? Yes. Senator Lyons? Yes. Vote of five zero zero. All right. So Katie, you'll get a clean copy to me and, and uh, I think the committee probably wants to see it. We can, Nellie can distribute it if, unless you want to. Um, and, and then I'll send it up to uh, Secretary Bloomer. So it will appear on the calendar for tomorrow along with H171 as it has been returned from the house and we should be fine. Now the question is, uh, Katie, it's a proposal of amendment that has to, it, how is this worded? Oh, this is a committee proposal of amendment. Uh, no. no, this a, falls under your name because I believe you don't have custody of it at this point. That's right, okay. Um, so I could add additional names if you want the whole committee to appear on it or it's up um, to, yeah, could just I'd, leave it. I'd, I'd like that, but I don't know what the committee. Okay, everybody want to be on this? Josh, shake your head. Okay, good. We're okay, good. okay, I'll make that change. <laughs> Terrific, that'll be great. Um, then I think that is it for now. Nellie, I'd, I'd like to go off YouTube.